Logan. I've been uh, hard at work on the Salem area. This is uh, the far west end of the railroad. And I uh, thought it'd be nice to take a flyover of that area. And we're going to fly out to Armstrong, and then we're going to turn right and head over to the coast. And we'll follow the coast branch. The crazy pilot from the Upper Bear Creek overflight video, Leaf Skinner, showed up and somehow he talked himself into a uh, pilot's job at uh, TWA. So he's in the cockpit of a Lockheed Constellation. And we're here at the Salem Airport getting set to take off. Uh, the conjecture is whether we'll get back safely or not. He does have a tendency to fly under bridges and uh, go really low. But for our purposes, that's not all bad. It'll give us a better look at what's happening. So here you get a view of what Salem is like. Salem isn't finished yet, but it's a fairly big town. And the throttles are open, and here we go, off into the wild blue yonder. the side of the river there's a uh, long train going through it looks like it's probably train 203 the Salem or 202 actually the Salem hauler east and it's passing through or getting set to pass through the Salem yard area On my model railroad, Salem is one of the staging areas. It represents all places to the uh, west of the railroad, or west and north of the railroad. So instead of being bare plywood, I decided that I uh, should uh, flesh Salem out a little bit more. All those chemical uh, industrial components there on the left will eventually turn into some kind of refinery or chemical processing plant. Salem is growing like crazy. There's a lot of construction here, this being the 1950s. didn't notice already this is another 21 by 9 ratio video uh, great for people with uh, extra wide monitors it's sort of like cinema scope on a movie well, that was the Willamette River we just crossed over and you'll notice that we've got double main track here the main track between Salem and Breton is, uh, or East Breton is double tracked. And we've got uh, train, what's that? That's probably train 201, the Bear Creek Hauler West. They're headed in towards Salem Yard. Between Salem and Armstrong, there's a set of low hills. There's no real name for the hills yet. One thing you may notice is that I've uh, deleted a bunch of speed trees and replaced them with uh, billboard trees, the, the TB series, for, TB forest series trees. And I did that to try to speed up rendering a bit. The billboard trees have got thousands of polygons or thousands of triangles in them. And the uh, billboard trees, the TB trees, have like eight polygons in them. So uh, Leaf uh, is up to his usual tricks of flying way too low, and this time he's doing it in a commercial airliner. I don't know if he'll still be employed after this uh, video is completed, assuming he can make it back to the airport in one piece. So I'm planning on signaling this, but signaling something I don't know anything about in train, so it's going to be a learning experience for me.
And that's the crest of the hill here, and now we're headed back down again. Lockheed Constellations were, in my opinion, one of the best looking of the four engine prop driven airliners. They had these sleek lines to them and the triple tail was uh, very interesting and unusual. Well, there aren't any bridges here, so Leaf decided to fly underneath the power lines. And now I guess we're going to be doing some uh, hedge hopping. And another train coming at us, or is that coming at us? It's hard to tell at this range. No, it's going away from us. There's left hand running in the double track section. So this would be train, uh, I think this is train 110. It's uh, just about into Armstrong. Another thing I did to try to speed up rendering was uh, I replaced the telegraph poles. I had uh, two crossbar telephone poles in the previous version and I went to single crossbar and that uh, brought down the triangle count by like 40% uh, of what it was or even halved it. It's a huge number of triangles in the uh, crossbars, the insulators and the wires. This is Armstrong, and Armstrong's obviously an Aggie town, a rather small town, but it's got some fairly big Aggie egg facilities in it. Now we're headed towards Ross Junction, which is where the branch line takes off from the main. May and the uh, orchard here on the right we're coming up on is in full bloom. Coast Branch is on the other side of those hills. And we're just about up to Ross Junction here. line connects to the main with a Y here at Ross Junction and heads down this creek. I don't know what the name of the creek is. If you can suggest a good name for the creek, maybe it'll stick. This is the town of Ross here in front of us. It's the first town on the branch line. Ross is a sleepy fishing village. It's got a depot and there's a uh, cold storage warehouse over there where they stash fish until there's enough to fill up a reefer.
all the trees here are speed trees. I haven't gotten this far with the uh, billboard tree replacement yet. Tracks go over a little bit of a summit and then drop back down. The area is known for a lot of nice beaches. It must be a work day because there's not hardly anybody out there on the beach. here that's uh, got a few houses on it. There's a uh, sporadic uh, ferry service to and from the island going between Ross and the island. And there's a lighthouse out there. If you're uh, walking along here you can often hear the uh, foghorn at the lighthouse going off. It's pretty obvious why I call this the Coast Bridge. Not sure what the management of TWA would think if they uh, saw their airliner being flown this low. steamship out there on the water. And the steamships have uh, tracks they can follow. I haven't figured out how to automate that process yet, so you need to go out and uh, take ownership of the ship and uh, crank its throttle up a little before I start flying, but I didn't do that. Through those trees up ahead of us, you're catching glimpses of Davenport. And I got the name Davenport from a town down near Santa Cruz in California. It's uh, sort of southwest of the uh, San Francisco Bay Area. The real Davenport down there has got a cement plant in it, but this Davenport is strictly a uh, a summer tourist town. It's got a station, but there's not even a siding here. It's a bunch of beach houses and uh, probably artsy fartsy types. Uh, probably a bunch of people with easels set up painting pictures of the ocean and the uh, clouds and the trees and the beaches. After Davenport, we're going to start climbing because we need to get up over these hills. There's a, sort of a neck of land poking out here. And we need to get over it to get to, to continue on the coast. There's another little island sort of in front of us with some kind of structure on it and a wharf.
shooting this video on uh, recording this video on October 23rd and I think that the uh, area here got scenery in July if I recall correctly. Still in the land of speed trees. Over there on the end of that spit up way in front of us is my uh, summer place. I got a summer place out there. It's really nice. And, uh, got a beach, got a helicopter pad, and nice house, and uh, a long and twisty road to get back to civilization. Might call it a bit on the secluded side. There's a tunnel on the uh, coast branch, and we're coming up on it here. Obviously the plane won't fit through the tunnel, even Leaf isn't going to try to do that, so we'll split off to the left here and uh, fly over the hills instead of trying to fly through them. I hope, anyway. One of the problems with flying planes on track around in this program is that uh, you got to keep the speed really slow when you go around a curve, otherwise the, uh, the plane will derail and then the uh, simulation stops and you get to start all over again. So we're cresting the top of the hill and we'll just dive down into this valley couple of bridges up here. I, I sure hope he's not going to fly underneath them. I, I don't think there's actually room to do that. Otherwise he probably would. Oh, we've got the Garibaldi turn in front of us here. Coming back from Garibaldi and Oyster Bay, uh, the reefers are probably full of uh, seafood and the boxcars, probably a bunch of lumber in them from the mill out in Garibaldi. I dare say the last two boxcars might be set outs for the warehouse and Ross, but who knows. And the second tunnel on the coast bridge. I'm not sure why we're getting so much stuttering here in the uh, video rendering. I tried turning off every other program that's running in the computer. It didn't make any difference. 
It's a puzzlement, I tell you. Now this is Oyster Bay. I used to live in Long Island, New York, and there was an Oyster Bay there, and I'm sure this town is nothing like the real town of Oyster Bay on the East Coast, even that this is on the West Coast. But I liked the name, so I used it. Well, the track's going to bend around to the right and then make a U-turn and come back to Garibaldi, but we're going to uh, go out here over the water. Oh look, there's another freighter. Anyway, on that coastline way in front of us on the right is Camp Holden, a Boy Scout camp. So we're going to make a pass by the Boy Scout camp so you can see what's happening there. On the hillside beyond Camp Holden, you can see where I uh, started putting speed trees in or not speed trees, the, uh, I'm replacing speed trees with the uh, billboard trees. Wish I knew where I could get some uh, 40 meter billboard uh, Douglas fir trees to use. The ones that are in the TV series are much shorter. Makes a very obvious difference between the two tree families. That's Camp Holden we just passed by. And the end of the rail spur serving Camp Holden. When there's a excursion out to Camp Holden, the engineer needs to run around his train in Garibaldi and he shoves the uh, coaches with the Boy Scouts in them out to uh, Camp Holden. Botanists are fascinated about the discovery of this new species of floating tree that's been uncovered out here. Getting close to Garibaldi, you can see the uh, Garibaldi Wharf sticking out into the water there. There's a couple of people on sailboats out enjoying the day. I think our pilot is going to make a strafing run down the middle of town. There is a Garibaldi here in Oregon, it's out on the coast, it's sort of where the uh, Port of Tillamook Bay Railroad hit the coastline after it went over the mountains from Hillsborough and Banks. And the Port of Tillamook Bay Railroad is no more, there was a washout and they never repaired it. But there's a uh, tourist railroad out there that runs steam locomotives uh, up into the back and forth between Garibaldi and a place called Rockaway Beach. And I've roughly mimicked the terrain out where Garibaldi is. Now, I don't think there's a lumber mill out in the real Garibaldi, but I wanted to have a reason to have for the tracks to come all the way out here. And so this lumber mill up in front of us is it. You can see that they've been busily laying waste to the countryside all over the place to get material to saw into it two by fours.
making a scene like this, the uh, copy block tool is uh, definitely your friend. It would take uh, a really long time to plant all those stumps and whatnot by hand. One thing I found when I was doing this, I was using Roy's dead trees. He's got a vertical one and he's got a couple of or a couple of vertical ones and a horizontal one. And I had way too many vertical ones. It looked almost like a porcupine. There's so many of them. So I got rid of about 80% of them and now it looks much better in there. Also renders a bit faster. So that area out in front of us where you can see sort of the hay field after the green, that's Armstrong. So we've come around in a loop and uh, we're headed back towards Armstrong. But we're going to turn left here and follow the track back over the hills to the Salem Airport. At least I think we are. About halfway to the distance is the railroad track right of way, and we are following on the way to Armistrong. And it looks like one of the trains we passed has uh, made it over the hill and is down onto the flat flatlands, and uh, will be in Armstrong in pretty short order. I think that's 202, the one that we saw in Salem when we first started up. distance you can see Salem. Just barely. Well the billboard trees render a lot faster than the speed trees do, but they sure don't look as nice. And you could just make out the Salem Airport in the distance.
Obviously, I'm not finished with this part of Salem yet. There's no roads here, a rhyme or re reason to the houses. I just did block copies of the finished area, but the block copy doesn't seem to copy roads, so thank you, N3V. Um, so I guess I'm going to get to put the roads in by hand. Sort of a University of Salem here. Football field, baseball field, bunch of academic buildings. A shopping district. Here's the county courthouse there. And the runway is right in front of us. I guess Leaf found his way home after all. We might actually make it safely. Terra Firma, I think. Well, thank you all for flying along with us. I'm happy to say that we made it back safely, and I'm sure you're happy to say that too. So, well, maybe I'll be seeing you on the uh, next flight, or the next rail fanning trip, or the next, uh, well, whatever video I do. Thank you all for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.